Welcome friends to Armstrong Java Solutions. I am Sneasis and today I am going to explain you array in Java. Okay. So first you have to know that why we will use array. Okay. So basically in Java or any language to store variables we are using the individual variables any to store any values. Okay. So Okay, I am uh, first I am creating one class and showing you how means why we will use the array in Java and how you will declare the array. Okay, so first I am creating one class. Okay, so here I am giving the name as array demo. Okay, and then I am clicking finish. creating the main method here public static void main string so here also you can see that in the signature main method signature it's also taking one string array okay so that in my all previous videos i already means show you that the means i use the main method signature so here also you can see the um, it's a string type array i declared okay so why will use the array if suppose you have to store five variable five values okay integer values so how you will uh, store the values so you have to take five um, variables so in suppose a1 okay then a2 then a3 a4 and a5 okay so like this way you have to um, you have to declare all the variables and you have to set the values okay suppose a1 equal to if you try to means want to initialize then here you can also initialize a1 equal to in the same line also you can initialize suppose a1 equal to 5 okay a2 equal to suppose 10 so like this way you have to initialize so it's a hectic task suppose you have to use the uh, 10 variables or 100 variables then you have to means um, you have to write that 100 variables first you want to like a 100 and then you have to assign the values okay so it's a hectic task and it's not possible so what is array basically array is a group of same type very means it's a group of same type variables okay so how will use means suppose you have to store the five integer variables so how you can uh, use the means in that case you can use the array okay so how you will declare an array you have to declare like this way int okay then the array name so it's the type first you have to give to you have to give the type then the variables name okay variables name means the um, what is your variable suppose arr array okay and then the syntax is like that you have to give the um, third packet okay you have to give the third packet after that okay and then you have to means uh, if uh, this is the declaration only okay so int it is int arr and then the third bracket like this way you can declare and how you will use you have to first means uh, after declaration you have to initialize okay so while you are initializing that means you have to means allocate the memory okay so that is the initialization so how you will do that using new variable like while we are creating the object of an um, class we are using the new variable with like same, same way we, you have to use the new variable to initialize the array so how you will do so you have to uh, create means like new then suppose if you want to store integer then you have to give the int and size size of the array suppose 5 okay so like this way you can use and here arr equal to arr equal to so in first line it's simply declaration and then in the second line we are initializing memory 
okay but or allocating memory not initializing so we are allocating memory that error means in, in the first line you just declare the array its integer type and the given the variable name error and um, this is the symbol third using the third bracket we are declaring the array and in the next line we are allocating the memory error equal to new int 5 that means it will create five integer variable in memory okay and allocating memory for five variables integer variables okay and the some, as if i mentioned the size as five okay if you mention that um, 10 then it will um, means um, allocate the 10 variables okay and in case of array in java it's um, means allocating memory continuously means continuous memory allocation continuous memory allocation means means um, if you know the basic of the java memory then uh, you can understand that uh, size means memory and there is some means uh, if we start suppose um, if i tell you that integer will take two bytes memory one integer variable will take two bytes memory so, so i don't, don't remember in java i guess it's two byte i guess so if it's two bytes suppose it start from 40 first in means first array index so here in case of while we are uh, initially means allocating five memory variables so it is a index based okay so first indexed like this way arr zero is the first index okay so first index is arr zero second one is arr one okay and th then arr two three and four okay like this way zero to four it will um, get five index so in short we can tell that an array is an index collection okay index collection means it's um, stored the variables in like this index means 0 1 2 like this and its index start with 0 okay and fixed number of homogeneous data homogeneous means same type and integer array can only contain integer variable and character array only can contain character variable character values and string arrays can only store string okay like this way so this is a homogeneous so once you create an integer and if you try to uh, assign float then it is not possible it will convert the float to integer and then it will store okay so in that way homogeneous and the size should be fixed in case of array size should be fixed so once you declare the size like this way arr equal to new array before you use the array you have to declare the size and you have to allocate the memory so once you are declaring the size that means the size is fixed okay entire your program you cannot change okay change the size so once you declare that it is fixed okay and it's also there is means uh, for array there is no any means it's not using um, there is no such means standard data structure it will not follow the any standard data structure okay so here but you cannot get any means built-in function okay i will uh, show you in collection there is um, some built-in function is there but for array you cannot get um, means such any built-in function so anything you have to implement here you have to write your own program okay so that's you have to so these are the means it's a um, legacy class array is a means you can say it's a means generic and it's a legacy one okay so this is the word and also this uh, another way is there so you you can uh, mark these two line in a single one so like this way you can declare an array int suppose error one equal to new int new int then you can declare the file size 5 okay like this way you can initialize or declare the array okay okay sorry it's int array you have to give the same same text so third way this is the one type and another one is the int like this way also you can write int then the third bracket then you can give the name suppose here are two okay and then new int five like this way also you can declare okay so in my two I mean two are the these two are the valid declaration of an array okay and if you want to means uh, after that you can initialize like this way i may show you that here you can initialize error suppose zero error 0 as it is an integer so i am giving that value is 1 error 0 equal to 1 
then error two equal to uh, yeah, sorry error error one equal to suppose two and like this way you can initialize values and you can use okay then error um, three error two then it's equal to three error four sorry it's equal to four and error it's also four error four equal to five and here it's br three okay like this way you can initialize the values okay and then if you uh, means want to uh, print the variable so for you can use the for loop as well for int i equal to zero and as you know the size so i less than 5 as it is start from 0 and then i plus plus and here inside the for loop you can just paint the values okay error suppose i okay so it will print all the values so whatever you have initialized okay so here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 so even i have you means initialize in the one by one so you can using for loop also you can initialize these values okay so uh, instead of this you can like this way for you can copy this part okay and here paste it and here i am taking the another one so how i will do I'm just showing you suppose error one okay so I have declared the error one as well so error one I equal to suppose I plus one so while I value is zero it will assign the next value means once okay so it will start so now if you print the error one here okay the values of error one so here you can see that one two three four five okay so instead of using the index one by one so I can initialize the value variable means array index or array by for loop as well okay so these two and also in the same line means you can declare like this way means if you know the values at the time of uh, declaring while you are declaring the arrays you can also assign the values as well so like here are two here i am showing so these two are the same so here i am showing like this way you can without means mentioning the size you can directly assign the values okay so here you can like this way one then comma two then comma three then comma four four then comma five okay so like this way you can error two is we have assigned five values so here if you print the error two here if you print the error two and for loop should means there is five values so i will iterate the five times this for loop and if you save and run it so you can see that one two three four five okay so like this way also you can initialize in the same line hence while you are declaring that is okay so these are the means uh, procedure how you will uh, initialize an array and how you will declare an array and how you will use in a using java okay so these are the related to, means these are the process um, to declare and use the array in java okay so hope you can understand okay thanks for watching this video and if you like my videos you can subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon so that once i will upload the next video you will get the notification